Hello and welcome back to the building of the Ben Buckle Falcon. It's time to start the fuselage and the first thing I've done this morning uh, is actually get out the one quarter square balsa that makes up the main structure and the main structure is this area here the area above and the common area are made up separately and also this area below. So the main task are to make up two sides like this. However, the very first task is actually to sort out the balsa itself. And the first thing that one notices is an obvious one, and that is that the balsa is long enough. And that was the same issue that I faced with building the wings in a big model um, you're unlikely to get balsa of the required length and that will mean that I'll have to make longer lengths up uh, by producing a scarf joint. And that's not a big deal. Um, I'll demonstrate how I'm going to do that um, later on. But the main issue was grading the balsa. Now in a kit you're obviously stuck with what you get. If you were to be able to go to a model shop as you could in the good old days, I would spend uh, ages going through a rack of balsa and picking out the pieces I liked. But going to a model shop's a bit of a luxury these days and most of us have to rely on mail order or if you're really lucky you'll go to a show and be able to pick up at one of the stands. But the first thing I've done this morning is I've actually gone through the balsa and put it into what I think are the heaviest pieces and what are the lightest. And I just did that by picking them up and feeling them in my hands and also give them a little bit of a wave in the air and you can feel the sort of strength in them. And I've put them into bundles. So these are the, what I think are the heaviest pieces and these are the lightest pieces. And I'm going to check that now by using the kitchen scales, they're very accurate, digital scales, I'm sure the wife won't mind, she puts up with a lot and this is one of the least of our issues. So let's see if I can zoom in a little bit there so we can get that and you can see it, you need a bit more than that, excuse the creaking, creaking and noises, right, I hope you can see that, so let's do the heaviest five one two three four five i think these are the heaviest five 42 grams okay we take them to one side the next bundle these are distinctly lighter i know that without even weighing them 26 grams so there's a massive difference between the heaviest and the lightest. So what am I going to do about it? Well, there's a couple of things I can do. The heaviest pieces, and it goes down to the part of the wood that the, the part of the tree that this wood's been cut from and the, the weight's being cut, weight cuts through the, um, the grain. I'm going to use these for the areas I think where the most strength is required and that is on these main stringers that make up the body. So I'll use those to make these parts up and the others I'll use to make the uprights and the heaviest, if there are any of the heavier bits I'll push them towards the front. You always need to try and keep the weight down as much as you can towards the back. So I think that's worthwhile doing. Don't assume that all the balsa are the same because it isn't going to be. And if it is different, don't despair. Just try and make the best use of the wood that you've got. So I'll pin this down, this plan. I'll cover it with some um, protective co covering, either some uh, cling film or some waxproof paper. I think maybe waxproof paper. And I'll actually start the process of making the first one up. I have some uh, views on how I'm going to modify this design. Uh, but I'll talk about them when we get to them. So this is how I do a scarf joint. Which is obviously required um, to get the length for these parts. So 
I've got two pieces here. I'm going to line them up on top of each other and I'm going to try and make one cut at an oblique angle through both at the same time. Now it may end in a world of pain but let's see. I'm using a razor saw to do this. I find if I use a knife the knife flexes too much. Nearly through. That's it. That's it. Now, there's the cut, and I'm sure that there you go. Tries to put it in the centre. There you go. So it needs a zap of glue in there, and we'll be ready to carry on with the build. Everything's been pinned down now. This bottom piece has been steamed. The scarf joint is actually here. This top piece is pinned down and the scarf joint's here. And I've dry cut all the main components. I haven't cut out the thinner, lighter material for the diagonals here yet. But I think if I get the main part down, um, then let it set and then duplicate it will be well on the way to getting a fuselage for this model. So let's start gluing it down. Here we go, that's one side completed with all the diagonals added. Just a case of a bit of patience, leave it now. I might leave it till tomorrow and then it's a case of do the other side on top of that one with a film in between and then we'll have two identical sides and then it's to the jig to square it all up. Thanks for watching that.